I'm a genius. <laughs> yes. Pun. We achieved pun. High five. Pun. <laughs> Von Von jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Von Von, sending him flying across the room. Oh, close up. All right. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me. But I'm not interested in either of them. There's only one man for me. And only one man for you, Colonel Sanders. Take me by the arm, Colonel Sanders. Please, Colonel Sanders. I want you, Colonel Sanders. You can't be with Megalo and Greytooth. You need all of this woman. You're not fucking gay, are you, Colonel Sanders? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, no, there's not. There's not. Ashley's oh. tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know what that this is a ruse, right? I'm back. Again. Say that again. Gay jokes are cool. Don't cancel us. Please, please. Don't cancel us. Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. You? He's pointing. That's why I say it. Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to the signal to true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal, but uh, he's a professor, but he's also a dog. Students, students, please take a seat. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. Sprinkles stops in his tracks and sniffs the air around you. Something has him in a trance. That's a student. Touching a teacher inappropriately? <laughs> Colonel Sanders. Well, I guess it's college. It's college. Anything can happen in college. Isn't that right? Me being in college. <laughs> I'm in college. Isn't that right? Megalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Jeez, I'm just unrailing on you on this one. Yeah. I love you. You know that. You know I love you. Moving on. But I love Colonel Sanders more. It's, it's, the, <laughs> it's the scent left on your arm from Colonel Sanders. Sprinkles jumps on you and licks your face. Down, boy. Down. Of the That command shouted by Colonel Sanders has snapped Sprinkles out of his trance. I wonder what's up with that. Sorry, I got a little carried away. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we will review the global history of my favorite show. Nichigan. That was too high. Nichigan. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly, you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. That's why, that's why I can't. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, lovers. Naturally, this appears to you to be sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? Oh, give me the water. <laughs> you want a sample of a glass of water? Oh, give me the water, dude. Give me wet. I wasn't even trying. Gosh, man, I need to get out of this state. You grab the glass of water and gulp it down. It's cool and crisp, like the purest snow melted by a mountain God, spring. I'm not even trying. It just happens too fast. Hey, that was mine. You were from my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thirsty. <laughs> you owe him six dollars for toilet water. 
Ouch. Uh, no. <laughs> You've got excellent taste. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. There is a piece of turd in it, dude. <laughs> oh. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Before <laughs> anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. Hey, what's for lunch? And your rivals enter to make a dramatic announcement. And the sky goes dark. <laughs> Today's lunch will be prepared by Colonel Sanders, wait. Via timed competitive cook-off. Come for trouble. Wait, prepare for trouble. And make it double. And to profess the hopes <laughs> of the Jesse. James. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of Ada Ada. Surrender now, we're prepared to fight. Yup. Jesse! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Meow, that's right! <laughs> the level of the actress with these two is off the charts. Sure. They fucked it up, but boy was it perfect. <laughs> I can't tell. Uh -huh. mm. A bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the ass with you <laughs> fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. <laughs> I'm not the fool. You're the fool, fool. fool. I put a fool. Pretty fool. Put a fool. Pretty fool. Put a fool. <laughs> I'm Mr. T. I'm Mr. T. Bag you in the nearest cemetery. I pity the fool. No one ever miss you. Cause all your friends imagine it. Let me just take off my shade. <laughs> I don't want to get your blood on my penny loafers. Yeah, you fucking know it. You know it. <laughs> Good one, Bon Bon. I like your gumption loafers. I'll be watching your performance. Oh god, who's cooking with us? Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sports inkle. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least, not until we turn <laughs> on the chamber. I don't have an air horn noise. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, Timer! Ready! Jeez, Colonel Sanders does really control the powers of God. That's what I'm talking about! Oh! oh. I stand correct. The hard way builds solidify a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me. In case anyone was wondering, I hope it's message. Let's see the victory. Why? Wow. Oh, yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. Diamond and pearl. I was under pressure and now my, my chance to shine. I will def defeat you myself. I will defeat you <laughs> You had his chicken and you made him mashed potatoes and gravy on day one, and you're feeling like you can really impress him again here. That's all for the Colonel. It's all for Sandy. It's all for Sandy Cheeks. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Uh, uh, oh geez. 100cc. God. What? That's that's right, but how would you have gotten into the school without knowing that? Simple math. Wonder if it's rub and rub on my jub jub. Let that enticing offer move you forward. You're going to need to season the chicken before you cook it. You don't know how Colonel Sanders recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices did he use? Eleven. That's right. 
You might not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're headed in the right direction. Okay, a lagging intense. Why, why does he say it? That was in uh, Asterix. Oh. So it wasn't to be said. It was just to be noted. Gotcha. <laughs> My tail is wagging. Yeah. Now that you've gotten some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What state of mind offers the most flavor? Gratitude. That's right. You must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Damn, okay. I'm rocking this. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. Alright. When you were a child, your father told you never forget where you came from. Every day you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Okay. Now would be a great time to harness that energy, so where does it come from? A small town. A small town. That's right. Woo! This is your shot, and you're not going to miss it. Alright, let's go. Oh. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? The sound of silence. That's wrong! Shit. Don't make me get the spray bottle. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. Was it silence? I believe in you, Hope Roos. Was it silence? I would have gone with bubbling. Oh, uh, what's sizzling? What are you... Bubbling? You're making potatoes? Fried chicken. And yeah, you, you don't want to sizzle a fry. Gosh, shoot. He's actually cheering you on, which would be awesome, except knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. Dang it, no. How many spoonfuls of gravy would it take to fill a traditional Victorian bathing? What were you thinking? Get your mind back to the competition. What? <laughs> that was, it didn't go to zero. You're standing on a desert island Cheater. and the only desert cookbook. What do you take? What a hunk. Oh, God. You, you gotta skip through it, dude. I do? I, I, last time it cut your time down to four seconds. I know, right? You know what? Challenge. Oh, yeah, I forgot the question. What does that have to do with the crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Oh, all those are wrong. Sick. Woof, woof. You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun planting elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit down into the biscuit dough into the strand mixer, and you do the crowd gasps. E yikes! Zip a pop. Zip a pop. I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appetizing appliance utilized in a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means sacrificing the personal touch. Were. You might not have any hands, but Hofer's does. And a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. Damn it! There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer and rescue your dough before it's overmixed. And you burn your hand off. That's oh. not how mixers work. It'd be more likely to be, like, fingers chopped. <laughs> Your fingers get chopped. You <laughs> shove them in the, the the biscuit, and then they burn. Add that personal touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no. But you're not fast enough, and your hand gets stuck immediately crushed by the quick spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. No, Colonel. Is that a tear? Well, he often finds that the easy way could turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply cannot go on. Oh, that's too bad. Man, you're really happy that I just fucked my hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, couldn't you use someone with two hands? <laughs> <laughs> that Captain My Jack over there ain't gonna do you shit. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a completed dish, ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Hofer's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy, doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you shall at least tell us what you prepared. 
Well, because I am the sweetest, I skipped straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Hophus to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me a strong, steady hand. Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away and revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquet, atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry glee. Glay. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, perhaps not impressed, as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Wishley? Oh, you. As he places a sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of the sauce sticks to his mustache. I, I, I gotta stop. I've already crushed my hand. Do I stand up and just, like, push the hand, or do I just, like, crumble? We stand up for our man. No one's gonna take our man, especially that bitch, Ashley. <laughs> You reach out with your apron to wipe the sauce off his glistening face. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Okay, hold on. Those are two way different things. <laughs> Stepping in between the girl and him and then being all like touching his stash, bro. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. Why? Internalizing anger isn't always the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Colonel. Hmm. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement, it's also functional. I was saving that flavor for later. Game over! Oh, try again. We're gonna have to try... We're gonna have to try again. Will our heroes get jiggy with it with the colonel? Find out next time on Game...